All right, so it looks like I hired, I'm gonna get in character. So it looks like I hired you all to make me an amazing website. So cool, my business, my family, um, we've always been into like reading and comic books and things. We've always uh, been a family that has kind of uh, grown up together. I remember my dad used to read to me. He used to read comics to me when I was growing up. So I wanted to honor him by making a comic shop. Uh, so based on the very first comic that I got, that my dad bought me at 7-Eleven, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, my business is a comic shop. Um, I've had the idea for having this business for several years. I have a huge collection at my house of comics, but I also want to build a business. I'm going to rent a nice place right over there. There's an empty spot over there at Southwestern College across the street and an empty spot. And I'm going to buy that. Uh, I'm going to rent that place and I'm going to uh, set up my business right there. So it's going to be really local. It's going to be right over there on 901 Otay Lakes Road right across the street. That's where my business is going to be at. So I haven't figured out a title for this business yet. Hopefully you can help me. It's going to be about comics. It's a family-run business. It's right there, right in front of Southwestern College. Um, you'll help me figure out a company name and tagline. I will be part of the, sort of like the face of the business. I'll be at the shop greeting people giving people recommendations about the comics, like, hey, have you read the latest Squirrel Girl? She becomes a Silver Surfer. So I will be part of the face of it, and I just want to be friendly and invite people to check out comics. Uh, I want to show that everyone is welcome at the comic shop, not just people that are only into Marvel or only DC. I'm going to have all of these other companies out here, like IDW and Dark Horse, I want to be very open to potential customers, very inclusive, and show that comics are for everyone. So I kind of would say that my personality is very open and friendly. Those are sort of like some of my ideas off the top of my head um, about what my shop is going to be about. It's a family-owned business. We're very friendly and open, that sort of thing. Um, I think I kind of told you what I what I think you might need for uh, making my website. Do you do you have any questions? Does the client? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, social media. Right now, I've got a Twitter account. It's you know Twitter.com/slash. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I don't have it yet. Okay, I'm going to build a Twitter account very soon, based on the name of my business. So I'm definitely going to have Twitter. I'm going to be tweeting like every single day, and every Wednesday is New Comic Book Day. So on Wednesday, I'm going to tweet about the latest comics we've got for sale. So definitely Twitter. I'm also going to do YouTube videos. I'm going to do YouTube videos showing that this week, make sure you get the latest X-Men book. Next week, you want to get whatever is coming out. So I'm going to have a Twitter. I'm going to have a YouTube, definitely. And maybe if you, if you think that an Instagram account might be cool. I hear Instagram's cool. Um, I don't know. What's the cool network that I should be on? Anyone know? What else should I be on besides Twitter, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter Instagram, and YouTube? Anything else? Facebook? I thought that was for old people, but okay, I guess I'll, I'll make a Facebook account. Okay, so we're going to have a Twitter, a Facebook, an Instagram, and a YouTube. Yeah. Um, will you be posting on YouTube uh, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Or will you be posting on just on occasions when a new release comes out? I'm going to focus on Wednesday mornings to tell people when you come to the shop, when we open up at the crack of noon, you'll be able to come in and get the latest comics. So Wednesday is the main day that I'm going to focus on to make YouTube videos. Yeah. What we really believe in is to have an inclusive environment where comics are for everyone. So 
inclusivity, openness, friendliness, what we believe in, comics are for everyone. They've, this is a great art form that's been around a hundred years. So we believe in tradition as well. Comics have been around a long time. They're going to be here a long time. They are a big cultural juggernaut. So tradition, inclusivity, we want everyone to have a comic book. We can find a comic book for everyone. And um, we also believe in um, creativity. We believe people can um, be transported to a new world by reading comics, and that's a very creative endeavor. Question? What makes you different from other comic book stores? What makes us different is that we are located very near the hub of where people will want our stuff. We're going to be right in front of Southwestern College. I think we've got like four, three or four schools all around here, right? We've got Southwestern College. We've got Bonita uh, Vista High, right? And then down the street, we've got another school. So I think we're going to be at a great place. Uh, I see some other shops like our competitor over at Plaza Bonita. Like you have to go really out of your way to go over there. We're going to be unique in that we're near where you are. That means you come to class, or there's the high schoolers, you have a little brother, little sister over there, we're going to be near where people are at. I think that makes us very unique. And we're going to focus on comics, but we, we might also put other things there based on what people are interested in. We're going to take people's suggestions, we're going to focus on comics, but if people really want you know, Pokemon cards or whatever, we probably would do that. So we're open to our constituents. Question. Services. Delivery service. That might be a really cool way to be uh, unique. Definitely. I like that. Uh, we're going to put that in our budget. We're going to have a delivery service. Uh, people often, you know, they go to the shop and I can't go this week, but we have a delivery service. You know, there's Postmates, Uber Eats, and all the other ones. We might do one for delivering people's <laughs> comics. So I think that'll really make us unique as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk more about your history. Yeah. So I grew up in Imperial Beach, and we would always visit the beach every month or so. And one time, my family um, was going to the beach, and we stopped by 7-Eleven, you know, to get some snacks and stuff. And on the rack, I saw a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 292. And so um, I, I wanted to get it at that moment, but my, my family was ready to go to the beach. So we'll say, we'll get it later. So we went to the beach, and then later on in the day, yes, we came back to 7-Eleven, and I bought that comic, and I still have it in my collection. That was in 1987. I still have that book 30 years later. So it really is, it means a lot to me that I still have that book from 30 years ago, more than 30 years ago, um, that I bought at 7-Eleven. That 7-Eleven is still there in Imperial Beach. It's at the corner of Imperial Beach Boulevard and, what is that, 13th Street? Something like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, you said you open at the crack of noon. Yes. How do you close it? Uh, midnight. We're going to be open um, from 12 noon to 12 midnight just so that people can come in at any time of the day. I think that also makes us unique. We are open like really big hours. You know, that's 12 hours a day and from noon to midnight. You know, a lot of people are not morning persons. So we're going to start at noon and go to midnight when... Uh, you know, people are doing their thing. Late night Yeah, <laughs> late night, exactly. Yeah. What types of employees are you? Types of employees, everyone. Everyone that's interested in comics. Everyone that, um, hopefully that they have their own experiences in comics or good memories with, you know, comics or manga or any written material. So I'm looking for anyone that's interested in pop culture. You know, if you got into superheroes because of the movies cool you're welcome but i do also want potential employees to have the joy of reading the comics as well anything else yeah where do you see this in the future like in five years or ten years do you expect, expect, expect to expand yes I expect to expand. We're going to start off with the one shop here. And within five years, hopefully, we have another location. 
uh, hopefully near another sort of like school area. So our goal for the first five years is to, uh, I would say like for the first two years to stay in business. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses fail within the first year. So we want to get over that hump of the first year, two years or so, once we've accumulated capital and so forth within five years to expand to another school location. And in 10 years, um, I don't know, to like our shop to be featured in the background of the latest Marvel movie. That was actually, um, that, that was Amazing Spider-Man number 292 from Marvel. It was the beginning of this amazing storyline called Kraven's Last Hunt. And uh, it is one of, the, one of the classic stories from the 80s. So I still have that. It's kind of beat up condition. So I want to buy another pristine copy from eBay to put it on the wall. You know how some stores have like, here's our first dollar. I want to put it up on the wall. Here's our first comic. Any, anything else? Does that help you in making me an amazing website? Yeah. What would be your price ranges? Um, uh, the price ranges are going to be cover price for the comics that are new, and then older comics. We might, uh, we'll have a back issue bin for the older comics, and we'll probably drop them off one dollar. So if you weren't able to get it, you know, come back a month later or whatever, and there might be a cheaper version of the comic. So. Uh, new comics will be cover price, which usually are between two ninety nine and four ninety nine, unless there's a special issue. And then older issues will be like a dollar off usually. Yes. Is there a business that, that you feel like you want to do something better than, than they are doing currently? Yeah, so back in the 80s, so I bought that comic in 7-Eleven, but then, you know, my dad saw, okay, cool, you, you seem to like comics. Did you know that there's a whole shop that's just about comics? So the next week, we went over to this shop called Omni Comics. Now, it's not around anymore, but I have great memories of that shop, and I remember um, that shop had like a little bit of everything. It had the Marvel books, the DC books, it had, this was before Image came out, so it didn't have Image, but it had Dark Horse and what else, Comico and these old publishers, Eclipse. So I want to be like that comic of, of my memories, but I'll mention one that's active now. I want to be like that comic of my memories that was just like a cool space with a bunch of comics, comics related, friendly people, um, at a centralized location that was Omni Comics. Nowadays, one of the biggest names in comics is Comics and Stuff. They've got a shop at Plaza Bonita, at the Chula Vista Mall. There used to be one at the Otay Ranch Mall. They've got them in La Mesa. They're all over the place. They're, there's, they are who I am aspiring to because they have lots of locations all over San Diego. So Comics and Stuff is a big aspirational goal. I want to be like them eventually, that we have various shops, we have a little bit of everything, maybe not so much. It's a big focus on comics, but we might have some of the other stuff as well. <clears throat> Question over here. Uh, I was Question. just going to say the Otay Ranch comics and stuff is reopening. They're reopening. Okay, got some more, got some more competition then. So okay. comics and stuff, Otay Ranch coming back. Where where is it nearby actually? What other shops? It is by the fountain, uh, the fountain driveway where the Christmas tree is usually. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Yes. Are you planning to have any upcoming events, workshops? Uh, we will focus on events that are comic related in terms of here's a brand new issue number one that's coming out. So it might have like a launch party. Every month there's lots of comic issue number ones that come out. So we want to have launch parties about, hey, come over. Here's a bunch of issue number ones that are coming out. And maybe we'll do some bundles. If people buy five of these number ones, maybe they'll get some discount. Uh, so definitely that kind of event. And if the community wants it, we might do like magic games or D&D &D games or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh games or whatever. So um, comic launch parties and maybe maybe gaming are events that we will do. What other discounts are you going to have? 
we're going to have Black Friday discounts. Uh, you come in and you get like one co buy one comic, get one free. Maybe we'll do some discounts throughout the other holidays. Maybe some, uh, you know, um, December holiday um, discounts. Maybe we'll have like the, uh, sorry, is it eight or nine days of Hanukkah? Um, you know, those those holidays. We could have some cool Christmas holidays, Hanukkah holiday sales, Kwanzaa. We can do a bunch of maybe some Arbor Day sales. Maybe we will pick a holiday every month and we'll have a cool sale based on it somehow. Like, you know, for Arbor Day, uh, all uh, sale on all Groot comics. Okay. Anything else? Does that help answer? Yeah. We're going to stand out because we are near Southwestern College, near a location where um, there's there's our clientele. We're, we're going to be right across the street where we have Southwestern College, where we have the high school, the middle school. We're going to be at a central location. I think that makes us stand out from the rest. A lot of these other shops are in a mall. You really have to go out of your way to them. So I think one thing that makes us stand out is that we are where you, where you are all at. That's one of the best ways for people to keep up to date with their comics. We will definitely have a pull list where people can select, I want these comics and that comic, and they'll always be available for them. And then mixing it with the delivery service for an extra little fee, we will also deliver those comics for people. Uh, they forgot to visit this week. Well, no worries. They had the pull list. We ha we pulled these books for them, and then if they want, we can deliver for them. I think that'll also make us a little bit unique compared to the competition because we will have a delivery service. Um, when do you want to open the store? When do we want to open? Um, we want to open um, for the holidays. So uh, today is the 12th. We want to open by December 12th, 2019. That's going to be our first goal. 12-12-19 is the day that we want to open so that then we still have time for people to create a pull list at the shop, buy some gifts for their uh, friends and family, and we'll be ready for the holidays. What about having like a party that day? That might be a cool way also to differentiate ourselves, to make us unique. We're going to have some sort of uh, party, maybe some sales and stuff. Maybe we'll have some famous comic artists signing stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have some sort of opening on that 12. 12-12 12, 12 at 12-12 12, 12 noon. Mark it on your calendar. Okay. Anything else? Does uh, Have I given you enough info for you to make me an amazing website? So remember, from you, I still need to get an amazing name for my business. Hopefully you can figure that out. And then a nice tagline to really catch people's attention about my shop. Hopefully I've told you a little bit about us, the business that's coming out. And you can make something cool. Any, any final questions? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I think I've hired the right people to do an amazing job. So thank you so much, and I can't wait to see what you'll make.